I wanted to check out this Supro amulet. I'm a huge fan of the Comet, which is what this amp's based off of by Supro. In other words, Supro did the Comet as well. It's a 110 Creamback British Celestian speaker in it. This is 15 watts. You can see from its footprint, it's small. In fact, I always thought, just like the, the Comet, this kind of looks like an old kind of portable record player, <laughs> but vertical. Um, it has a two band EQ, a volume, tremolo, reverb and a this has a built-in attenuation that goes from 15 watts to 5 watts to 1 watt which is really cool i'm going to show you that and um it's all tube it has a uh, 6l6 power tube that's where you get your 15 watts you get a uh, 12ax7 for the preamp you get a 12ax7 for the tremolo and you get a 12at7 for the reverb this is a really cool amp they've restyled it with this uh dog hair uh look which is this black vinyl with silver threading in it. it. looks great. And of course, this cream cloth front with the Jet Black Supro logo. I'm going to be using a SM57 uh, plugged into my interface today and to capture these amp sounds. And of course, I have a room mic as well. And of course, my lapel for me. And uh, I'm going to be using a, a Gibson ES35 and another guitar with single coils to give you the sounds of what I found with it. I wanted to just share with you why I like the amp, what I found that's cool about the amp, and uh, what's different about it? Because this is really a very, very analog experience. This is not an amplifier where you're gonna get some modern sounds. This is all classic, all tubey kind of sounds. So let me start with just a basic clean with a little bit of reverb on the neck pickup of this guitar. With this reverb, I just want to take the reverb to 10 so you see how crazy. This reverb gets huge. And let's back that up. It, you can use a foot switch with it too to turn the reverb off and the tremolo on and off. So basically reverb on and off, tremolo on and off. So I wanna stick with the clean. Right now I'm gonna show you my settings and I just wanna play with the amp a little bit and uh, see what we get from it. Here we go. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it. I'm gonna go straight to the one watt setting on the amp. And you can hear. 15 watts. One watt. But what happens if you crank the volume control? Well, what happens is, is the attenuation becomes basically the master volume and the volume becomes a gain control. Let's go to the bridge and you get a lot of grit. Check this out. is just epic it sounds like just crazy that kind of like definitely this comes to mind It's that crazy, just over the top. You can just tell the tubes, the speaker, everything is just on fire, but it's actually at bedroom volume. Now that's extreme. That's the amp basically in one watt. 
and the uh, volume at 10. Let's go ahead and take it to five watts and then run the volume just a little bit harder. And you get to clean, but now you got an edge of breakup kind of sound. All right, so now what we have here is a Dane Electro 59. And I'm gonna go to the middle position on these, the two single coils. So what we're at now is the five watt mode with the volume at just over halfway. And you can see a little bit punchier with the single coils because now we're not really pushing that amp over. Now I want to now what I want to share with you is back to 15 watt mode. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on that tremolo. Here's the tremolo. So what I've done now is I've just adjusted the treble back a little bit. Man, that sounds great. So let's go ahead and turn it to uh, volume 10. And now we're back to one watt, so the amp is cranked. So what are some final thoughts on this? First, it's a great pedal platform amp. It sounds really clean. It has reverb built in, it has tremolo. So if you want to run some gain pedals, some overdrives, uh, you name it, delays, you can put them in front of the amp and you're going to get a really, really uh, kind of perfect sound of your pedals. In other words, your pedals and then just running it through tube amp to warm them up. And it's going to be a really good sound. If you want to run fuzzes or overdrives and kind of push the amp, well, as you know, if you attenuate the amp a little bit, you can see where it breaks up so much on its own. If you run it five watt mode, you'll just break everything over and it'll sound great. It's going to give you a big rock blues uh, sound at a much more manageable volume level. I could see where on stage it'd be a lot of fun. It, it definitely gets loud enough if you want it to crank up. It's going to overdrive. It's going to be like kind of like a prince and it's not going to stay very clean very long. But it's got a little bit different thing going on because because of, of that cream back it just sounds punchy a lot of higher mid frequencies and not a lot of lows so it sounds really good in a mix the other thing to mention is it doesn't include a foot switch it has a place to plug it in but no foot switch included it also can power an external cabinet so you can run this speaker or an external cabinet some of the features i like i love the leather handle i like the dog bone leather handle i love that I like the look especially, and I think I like it more than the original Comet. As much as I really like the Comet, I just think this sounds a little bit more like a manageable amplifier. One of the things I didn't like about the Comet was it sounded great, but it wasn't very quiet considering it's a very small amp. 
this, you can get a lot more lower volume tones out of it. And that's definitely, I think, what they're going for. I think they're going for someone who wants a classic kind of 60s rock sound, maybe 70s rock sound, and not a ton of volume so it's manageable. I mean, definitely a lot man more manageable than a lot of these bigger amps. On that note, I want to thank the people at Supro for sending the amp out so we could check it out. I want to thank you guys for spending this time with me today. If you guys want to learn more about the amp, I'll put links down below. And as always, thank you so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.